Hey folks, JD here. And yes, you have got the right video. Hang on two seconds. Before we get to the 8D flips, I just wanted to show you this. Now this is a little case that I have printed for the Tello. Look at that. Very snug, very, very sweet. Just sits inside there. So let's take out these propeller guards. You've got the Tello that just sits directly inside there. As well as you have two batteries, obviously two battery holders there. I've only got one battery in here for the second. I can't find my other one. But uh, essentially that's what you've got. So I spend so much money on cases for my quadcopters that I thought it was about time that I actually started making my own. So this is one that I've made. So there we go. Look at that. Really, really cool. You can take it with you, put it in your bag. You haven't got any issues about um, knocking the quadcopter or the quadcopter getting damaged. The box itself is printed very, very, very well. Look at that. Fantastically well. It sits in there very snug. Then you've got the lid, which once again is printed quite well. And then you just put that down. And there we go. One quadcopter totally and utterly encased inside that nice little, uh, little quadcopter carry case. If you want the STL file for this, you'll find it in the description, folks. Right, with that... Let's crack on with the AD flips. And today we've been asked a question by Raymond Raymond Millwood. All right, so as you saw, Raymond wanted to know what the difference is between 3D flips, 4D flips, and 8D flips. What are these 8D flips? Well, these 8D flips are eight directional flips. So, meaning you can flip in eight particular directions, forward, back, left, and right, is your standard quadcopter flips. And then you've got sort of angles in between that. So I wanted to see, because it was something that was mentioned in the updates last week, I wanted to see exactly how that would work. So let's have a little look. So if I can just remember where I'm going for the second, let me just record my screen. Get some video on the record. There we go. Now we've got a very windy day. A very windy day from my right, right way across to my left, from my back to the front. It is quite literally seven miles an hour one way, eight miles an hour the other way, and sometimes it's gusting up to 13 and 14. So it is quite a uh, quite an incredible uh, sort of day. So I just wanted to get hold now of the there we are 80 flips so once you click the three little dots in the top left you'll notice all these semicircles and half circles um, all the way around your uh, main waypoint in the front those are your 8d flips so if you click one way then it flips one way if you click the other way it flips the other way See, so you've got your standard forward, back, left and right, which is your normal quadcopter movements. Some quads only have two directional flipping, left and right, and that's when you're at standstill. Some have two directional flipping, left and right, uh, when you're moving. Other ones have directional flipping. Oh, this is not like in the wind. It is really struggling in the wind. Started to fly itself then, that wasn't me. Um, Let's bring her down a bit, see if she can lock on it a little bit better with that uh, optical flow. And, um, yeah, so two directional flip in, you normally got to lock your quad in place. Sometimes you can move it. Uh, then with you have other quads which have four directional flip in, forward, back, left and right. Again, normally when the quadcopter is stationary. Then you have the extreme, which is this, which is eight directional flipping. So as you are clicking these buttons, quite literally, come on, if I click the button right, my fingers are so cold, I've been out here for a while. Let me see if I can click another one. Have I got to be higher? Maybe there's too much of an angle on the quad. But we saw two of them work, but quite literally, you just click one of these buttons around your waypoint marker and um, the quadcopter flips. And as soon as hopefully this wind dies down, we might be able to get some more flipping done. But look, she's just being buffered about the place and moved about on her own. There we go, let's try again. No, let's turn that off and turn that back on. See, she's moving on her own. It's not me controlling her. She's just having a little fly around. You know, I do believe these do go. I do believe these quadcopters do get. Uh, they do. They do go sentient after a couple of years. Uh, right. Okay. Let's try these again. I think it's because she's on too much of a list. She's not. Uh, she's not flat. So therefore, she's not able to uh, to flip for us. But uh, essentially. This is what you get. You get the eight D, the eight flips are on the outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you have your normal forward, back, left, and right. And then you've got the angles in between. So you have top left, um, 
top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, as well as extra flips. So that's quite literally it. If you if you enjoy flips or if, if you enjoy slowing down video from flips, which can be quite fun, then you can see exactly what, what this can offer. But if, like me, it's, it's more of a little sort of gimmicky thing, which you want to see if a quadcopter, with, in my eyes, I always want to see if a quadcopter can complete a full rotation. And if it's, like, I've had a couple which have shot behind me after 3D flipping that have gone off in some strange direction. Um, and it's quite nice to see now and again. Yeah, my fingers are so cold. My, this isn't activated for some reason. Let's have a little look and see why. So let's land her. Yeah, so okay, it's not uh, it's not the tablet. My um, my my inputs are being activated, but for some reason I th I'm guessing because there's too much of a lean on her, she's not able to uh, to keep herself flat enough. To uh... ooh, Mr. Tello, come here, come on you, come back to me. We'll have none of this walking off. So we did two way flips. Let's see if we've got any more. Certainly these aren't activating any more than what they already have done, which is the two, which is top left and standard forward roll. Now the rest of them aren't activating, which is quite strange, but still, that is what eight directional flipping is. That's essentially what it is, Raymond. I hope that's helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Um, and if it hasn't, I'll try it indoors and see if I get any, if I get any more luck indoors, maybe. But uh, essentially, 8D flips are exactly what you've seen there. Flipping in eight directions. Oh, I know why it may not have flipped there as well. It's warning of battery low. So um, that could be a good reason as to why it's not flipping. But there we go. We've seen it a couple of times. So I hope that that has helped you out. Come on, Mr. Tello. There we go. Perfect. So there we are. The Tello FPV, FPV app, 80 flips. This is everything. Absolutely perfect. Apart from the fact that only two flips worked. But there we go. I'll give, I'll give it another try inside in case this she was leaning a bit too much and uh, that was uh, not allowing her to flip. Um, there we are, my friends. I hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and ring that bell too. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying. <laughs>